boys and girls, ladies and gents, it's time for another episode of Big Red Snack Attack. What do we have on the agenda today? Something else from Osim or Osim. It's another Jewish uh, snack. Let's see. Um, it's parv, and it is kosher approved. So what do we have here? It's Osim, or Osim, I don't know how to pronounce it, I don't speak Israeli. It's Bisli, or Bisili Barbecue. I don't know how to pronounce it, but there you have it. And then down there at the bottom corner is your parv symbol. On the back, right above that green spot there, is your kosher approved. And then, if you look down in this little corner by my finger here, let me see if I can get it without glare. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it in such tiny writing, but it's all in Arabic. <coughs> this also came from my local Kroger on the international flavor on the international aisle food aisle. It says flavored wheat snacks. It's 2.5 ounces, and unlike Americans, where you have this much chips and this much air. The Jewish people are doing it right. There's where the snack ends. Right there. Right there. I mean, I can feel snack all the way up into there. You got just very little air. Maybe an inch of air. Or inch of space in the bag. So, you know, I'm, I'm kind of worried about this because it's, it's, it's Jewish barbecue. Let me see. Let me make sure it's not made in Auschwitz. No, it's made in Israel, so <laughs> it'll be alright. Let me take one out. Okay, so the little, you can see the little corkscrew. Style wheat chip. Let's see how much is in the bag. Okay, when I put it up close to my nose, I get a little bit of a barbecue smell, but when I put my nose in in the bag, it doesn't have a smell at all. It's just like almost like smelling flour. Let's try it. I'll be honest with you guys. This time they lived up to their name. Because they jewed me out of flavor here. Maybe I need a bunch of them in my mouth at one time. I don't know. Let me stick a handful in there. Or a pinchful. Maybe Israelis have different <clears throat> a different view or different taste of what barbecue should be, but this is like no barbecue I've ever tasted. Very mild, very bland. Yeah, it was soon. Y'all missed y'all mark on this one. I was, hope I was so hoping for something so much better.
If it had more of a barbecue flavor, man, this would be fire. It's just like they cheaped out on the flavoring. I'm wondering if it's because it's outdated. Because again, shame on you, Kroger. But it was sealed. Y'all saw it was sealed. Nice and airtight. So. But if it went stale... It still wouldn't change the fact of it would you'd still you'd have stale barbecue flavors, what I'm getting at. So yes, this is outdated by a long shot. Kroger, you need to start checking your or I'm okay. Shame on me for not checking it at the store, but shame on you because it's your damn grocery store and you should rotate your products and you should check your aisles. As to, I know y'all do it with milk because that's where I get a bunch of good deals on milk. Because about three or four days before it goes bad, y'all put that shit on manager special. I'll get a gallon of milk for about a dollar and a quarter. Because at my house, we drink milk so much, it ain't even going to last to the expiration date. So if you can do it with milk, Y'all should do it with all of your products. But that still doesn't excuse or sim or seem. Because if it was stale, which it doesn't, I don't know if it is stale or not. Because I've never had these before, so I don't know what they taste like fresh. But my point is, I've had stale chips before. Like American chips. And they tasted stale, but they still had the flavor which was on them. Because flavorings that you sprinkle on top of something uh, takes longer to go bad than the chip itself. So, this is a three-part fail. Let's start at the beginning. Fail by Osim in their Bisley barbecue. Because they drewed out on the flavor. Shame on you, Kroger, for not maintaining your shelves. And shame on me. Shame on the fat man for not checking. So when I start buying these odd products from now on, lesson learned, I'm going to need to start checking expiration dates. Put it to you this way. If I was the kind of person who wasted I would have thrown these away. But this shit was expensive. It's like two dollars for this little bitty bag. Two dollars and some change. And uh well yeah. Big Red ain't about wasting his money. Only got about three left. Knocked them out. And we'll call it a day. Uno. Dos. Tres. Now you have it, boys and girls. Osim's, Osim's Bisley Barbecue. Not made in Auschwitz, so it should taste like regular barbecue. Now... Down there, 
subscription button. Go ahead and click it. You'll know when I have new content. Down there somewhere there's a comment section. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's something you want me to try. Oh, wait. I forgot to rate this. Hold on. Let's step it back a minute. The flavor's so bad, I, I'm, I'm discombobulated. All right. So, on your sim, on your Bisley barbecue, I'm going to have to give y'all, like, a half a flip-flop. Because that was freaking terrible. No flavoring, very bland, crunchy. But, I mean, I don't mind crunch when you're eating a chip-style or a cracker-style snack. But, man, that was bland. That was like I could have picked up a, a piece of a piece of anything without a flavor and put it in my mouth and eaten that. Because that was, that was just terrible. Half a flip-flop, buddy. Y'all ain't hit the mark. So now back to this. Subscription bar. Click it. You know when I have new content. Comment section. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you want me to try something. Or just tell me what you think of this video. Or if you had that before, let me know. Um, thumbs up. Thumbs down. Oh, sh that flavor's got me all messed up. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Don't matter which. I got thick skin. I can take it. But we like these better. And, uh... As always, tell your ma, tell your pa, tell your greasy, greasy grandma, share this video with your family and friends. And uh, may all your snacking experiences be ghetto fabulous. I've been Big Red for Big Red Snack Attacks, and I'll see you at the snack counter later.